Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Alec. We are parents of 10 week old twins, Harper and Hudson. If you're hearing weird little grunts, this is the current situation. Always keep the babies happy. And I do mean always because it is constant around here with twins. But we have a Q&A for you today. I asked you on my Instagram what questions you have for Alec and I as twin parents. The New gurus. Twin. Yes, we are now twin gurus 10 weeks in. You guys asked us a ton of questions, like a variety. So we're just going to get into it, but we have to plug first. You can do the honors. Subscribe. Please. Love it, to the point. <laughs> okay, we got lots and lots to choose from here. So, what's the most annoying questions we get asked repeatedly as a twin parent? Not a question, but the most annoying thing is when we go out, everybody goes, double trouble. That's true. Like, <laughs> they love saying that. Since I'm a twin mom now, I've learned it's like a twin mom joke that if you can get out of the house without someone saying double trouble to you, that's like a success, so. Everyone asks how we're sleeping. They're like, oh, ha ha, hope you're sleeping. Oh, how are you sleeping? Oh, are you tired? I'm like, yes, yes. Betsy, I'm tired. <laughs> okay, what sports or activities do we want to put them in? I don't know, whatever they want. Everything, test it out. Oh. A little soccer, Heather wants to put her in ballet. So cute, little girls doing ballet. I did ballet. Little, little tiny golf. Probably golf. Piano. Don't have the thing for nothing. True. When they're in school, do we want them in separate classes or together? Together. Together, yeah, okay, cool, same page. I feel like it's just easier that way and more fun. Okay, which baby is a daddy's girl or boy or mama's girl boy? They're both mama's Undecided. boy girl because I've got the goods. What's the uh, hardest or most unexpected thing? Trying to work. Mm, working from home for Alec, since I'm not working yet, that's been tough. It's hard to... Focus on work when there's crying babies all the time. Yeah. There's always someone crying. There really is, except for right now because they're bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. And it's hard because for me, there's no like semblance of a schedule. It's not like Alec leaves at 7.30 and then I have like my day planned out. It's just sort of random each day. So it feels kind of chaotic. If Alec is unavailable, I can, I can totally take care of them. It's of course easier though with Alex. So if they're both screaming or I'm trying to feed them and one is done eating, but the other one isn't, and I'm trying to burp one and one is screaming, like it's just easier to have Alex like, help me, but then that disrupts his whole day. Or not his whole day, but it disrupts- Whole day. <laughs> it disrupts Does. him. He has an office. I tell him, go in there and shut the door. But if he just hears them both wailing, he's gonna come out and be like, can I help you? And if he does that, I'm gonna say, yeah. So it's just, we're, it's it's tough for sure. Okay, how much sleep are you two consistently getting and is it harder than you thought? You know what? In my last video, I was talking about must have items for newborns and I said the snoo isn't a must have and it's super expensive for sure. But I will say this past like week, something changed. And something clicked in their little brains. Something clicked and I we both say it's we think this new has helped. Yeah, for sure. Their longest stretch of the night has been between like seven, eight, nine, ten hour stretches at a time. Then they wake to feed and then do like another three to five hour stretch. So we're talking like 10 to 12 hours total with maybe one or two wakes to feed. I'll talk about that in a sec. That being said, I breastfeed. So I'm still up every... Probably during the night, like four hours to pump at least. Thank you, Snoo. It's the motion. <laughs> I really think it's the motion. Our babies love motion and they're loving that Snoo and it's keeping them asleep. Alex sleeps more than I do, of course, but he really is good about at least being up with me. Like if I have to feed, it's usually Harper. That's another question I got. Which twin keeps you up most at night? That Le dang Harper. But no. Okay, so we put them to bed. Usually we try between nine and 10, usually closer to 10. I'm usually up around 2.30 or so around there to pump. Then Harper usually wakes up between four and five for a feed. And then Hudson's a wild card. He could be up at six. 
He could, he could sleep the whole night. Oh, that's a long way of not giving you a real answer. So I have a ton of questions in here about like my breastfeeding schedule. So I think my next video I do will be kind of my feeding journey up to this point because there's so many of those questions. It warrants its own video, which I wanted to do anyways, but I wanted to give it enough time. So stay tuned for that. What's our diaper count? Our daily diaper count? I would guess. A little less than the beginning. I guess like 15. Yeah, 15 to 20. It was like 20 to 25, but now that the night uh, nights are sleeping a little longer, we're still going through a lot of diapers. They're Blah. still cover that. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're vlogging. <gasps> Hi, beautiful baby. How have we been taking care of them on our own? There's only been a few times that I leave Alec alone. I've had a couple doctor's appointments and once every three weeks, I get my eyelashes filled. That's my one hour of me time every three weeks. How do you do it? Just try to keep them entertained. Usually have one in the bouncer, one being held, or the play mat. Yes, they like the play mat too. Yes, we love our Love Every play mat. I'll link below. That thing has been a life Saber. Babies love it. Is it everything you've ever dreamed of? I never dreamed of I never twins. dreamed of this ever. <laughs> so having no dreams, I would say yes. <laughs> you know what? This is the hardest thing we've ever done. Yes. Yeah, this is the hardest thing we've ever done. But it's also, like, it really is the best. I mean, it's really fun. Um, and we're just grateful that we have two healthy babies. They're so darn cute. They're, they are very cute. They're very cute. They're really good babies. What roles or duties have changed in the home? Like dishes, grocery shopping, cleaning. I do most of the outings, I feel like. Yeah, so that's another question. We got, if I've gone out alone with them to do things, how that works. I have not grocery shopped by myself yet. Dishes, cleaning. Um, cleaning has taken a back seat in this season in life. It, get, it gets clean. done, it just slower. Yeah, dishes, we do dishes a lot because we've got a lot of bottles and stuff. And laundry. Who do you think the twins look like the most? Me. No, me. Honestly, if you look <laughs> no, at, you know what? Honestly, they look just like themselves at this point. True. Hudson, when he was fresh little newborn, look just like Alec. But honestly, if you look at my baby pictures, he looks like me now. Hybrid baby. And Harper is just a unique She's queen. a unique little tan princess. She is so tan. He is fair. Do we ever get confused with which twin is which? No, no we open never. Their they look anti-identical to us. That's a question we get a lot. People say, are they identical? And we go, oh, no. No, boy, girl twins cannot be identical. One has a- Yep. <laughs> I feel like we've like alluded to this, but haven't actually answered it. Oh, sorry. How do you manage to take them out so much? We just force it. <sighs> just you have it. to do it. But you have to be scheduled for sure. You have to go around the feeding schedule. Oh, it's all about the milk around these parts. Life revolves around dairy. If you're gonna be out when it's time to feed, if you breastfeed, you either have to have bottles already <clears throat> prepared with you with an ice pack in your diaper bag and then have like a pump you need to take care of that while you're out. Or we try, wherever we go, regardless of how long we'll be out, we try to feed, burp, leave. Like that is the last thing we do before we leave the house. So we give ourselves the most amount of time before they're gonna get fussy and need to eat again. Oh, someone asked that if we're following some sort of like sleep feeding program. Nothing in particular. I've read through the taking care of babies program. And so we're just sort of following like every three hours to try to feed them because in order to get them to sleep the most through the night, they one have to have a lot of calories during the day, and then they have to actually sleep well during the day to sleep well at night. They don't even let us go longer than four hours without feeding them. They'll they'll let us know for sure. For sure. And we feed. I feed them both at the same time. You got to do that for twin life. You'll hear that a lot from any twin mom. Schedule is life. You will literally not even have a second to take a bite of food if you don't have them on the same schedule as mm. much as possible. Do you guys ever go? Holy crap! We have two kids. Every day. Daily. <laughs> what do we say? I can't believe I can't two. believe that there's two. Do we divide our time equally between each baby? <sighs> it, it changes by the day. And that's a hard- There's always one that requires a lot more. Hello. Uh-oh, oh. you spit up. <laughs> <laughs> that's the hard part about being a twin parent, truly, is that you, like, you can't give attention to both equally. It's really hard. Each day is different. You just, you have to know as a twin parent, and if you're doing it, by yourself here and there that like like if both of them are crying you can help one at a time and the other one's gonna have to cry until you can tend to them 
and you have to come to terms with that and know that that's okay and you're not a bad parent and you're doing the best you can. Okay, we'll end with this. What are some ways that Alec participates in the baby's routine? So he is being helpful during this season. <sighs> Man, changing diapers, um, I'll bottle feed them. I burp them a lot, usually because one will be done before the other. Harper's a slow eater. I mean, you play with them on the mats. Play with them. It's kind of all you go, do with babies at chores. this age. You'll get up in the night if I am like tapped and you'll deal with them if their pacifiers fall out and they're yeah, crying. Yeah, just hold them. I mean, I feel like we do all the same stuff, except I'm the one who feeds them. And then hey. when you work during the day for chunks at a time, I'm on my own just dealing with them. This mama is the best. She's an absolute killer. You keep saying I'm a not, killer. Not killer in a bad way, killer in a great way. You know what I mean. Killing it. She's killing it. Was that a compliment? What? Was that a compliment? <laughs> yeah. She's killing the twin game and I'm very proud of her. Something kill. Okay, she is absolutely slain. Saw that. <laughs> okay, she's doing amazing. She knows how to manage the twins. She did lots of research. She has the patience and she is an absolute Minx. <laughs> the heck is that? I don't know, that was the first animal that came to my head for some reason. What's a minx? Oh wait, no, it's a mink. mink? A lynx? <laughs> you gotta go. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but she's doing great, so very proud of her. And she is my little peach. <laughs> <laughs> that was good again. <laughs> All right guys, well that does it for this video with these little babies. This just fills my cup. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please like, like comment, subscribe. Tell us some good uh, first birthday party ideas. Although I We're planning way in advance. Mm, I already have it planned, but I'd love to hear your ideas, but just know I've got a plan. Well, this has just been fabulous and enlightening and long, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.